this is something a little different from the other Bhairavis that we have established till now. We have strengthened the third eye in a big way. She is more driving towards mukti rather than just material well-being. Twelve to fifteen hundred years, there's rarely been a feminine form which is uh, mercury-based. There are masculine forms, there are lingas which are mercury-based, there are elemental temples which are mercury-based, but there are no the divine feminine with a mercury base. So this is a unique aspect, the solidification of mercury that's done here should easily last anywhere between thirty-six hundred to maybe forty, forty-five hundred or forty-eight hundred years. And it's been going through <coughs> a certain process, a very intense process for the last three months plus and uh, Myself mainly and also some young women both from India and Nepal have been involved in uh, contributing to making this happen. This has taken a lot of work, very intense form of work to get it to where it is. is the Kalashams, there are five Kalashams on the top, three right here, one right above Devi and one in the front and the outside Mantapam. So all these three, we will empower them with solidified mercury. This is something a little different from the other Bhairavis that we have established till now, that is we have strengthened the third eye in a big way. So she is more intensity than compassion. I think you've been wallowing in love and compassion a little too much in Nepal, so I thought you need some intensity, that something set you on fire. Is that okay, the Nepali people? <laughs> she is more driving towards mukti rather than just material well-being. That's what she designed for. The purpose of Devi is to become sensitive to life, not sensitive to society not sensitive to ideologies, philosophies, scriptures, no, to become sensitive to life. the significance of your existence, not significance of what you do and do not do, just significance of your existence. Every human being must experience this because this is a human privilege. You must make your namaskar all of you. I have never experienced something like this in my whole life before. 
The experience was amazing. Words are not enough to describe it. Baby, she has given me another life. this to anybody here yet because this is a confession day I'm telling you. One reason why I decided Devi should come to Nepal is some of the fantastic temples that you have. When I see the way it is kept and the way it is approached, tears came to me. These are tremendous tools being used in rudimentary ways. So I thought let me inspire that using the Bhairavi as a source, hope many of you will revive many things in this wonderful country. I would like to see that the youth of Nepal and particularly the young women of Nepal must make use of this. If you know how to use it, she will open up possibilities that you never imagined possible. Bhairavi is that, that if you know how to make use of this, being exuberant and wonderful every moment of your life is a living possibility. Take Bhairavi into your heart and let it blossom within you.